Hi everyone, today we're going over more subtextual queer coding in Stranger Things. Today we're going to be focusing on Ted Wheeler's snide homophobic comments. I not even have noticed these because they require context. So let's begin. Context, this is Joyce reporting her son Will missing and what they assume might have happened to him. Lonnie used to say he was queer, called him a dick. Is he? He's missing! This scene here implies that Hopper suspects that Will might have gotten hate crimed. Let's move on okay. to the scene. No one leaves. This is such bullshit. Language. So we're under house arrest? Just because Mike's friend got lost on the way home. Wait, this is Will's fault? He's pissed off because you want to hang out with Steve. Steve? Who is Steve? Her new boyfriend. You are such a douchebag, Mike. Language. <gasps> Come back. You see, Michael? See what happens? What happens when what? I'm the only one acting normal here. I'm the only one that cares about Will. See, Michael, you see what happens? This is a snide, low-key homophobic comment. With context, we know that Will is suspected of being missing for being gay. The conversation at this dinner table revolved around Nancy's boyfriend. So when you put two and two together, Ted Wheeler is implying that he sees Mike and Will as almost like boyfriends. Therefore, he makes a snide homophobic comment to tell Michael not to be gay, like Will. This is also the first hint in the series that Mike Wheeler could possibly be gay. Let's move on to the second comment. Our son with a girl? <laughs> Ted expresses his disbelief that Mike could even possibly be with a girl. The more obvious interpretation is he sees his son as so nerdy he couldn't get a girl. But if you're looking at the context that we had previously with our experience with Ted, it could also be a low-key homophobic comment of seeing his son as gay or queer in some way. And to a hint to the viewer that Mike might be gay. Unfortunately, these type of microaggressions are extremely common for gay people and other minority groups. It's little comments like this that build up over a gay person's lifetime that really sows self-hatred and internalized homophobia. I suspect these might be a little bit harder for a straight audience that has no experience with gay people to pick up on because these are very subtle microaggressions that gay people face. From personal experience, I had a parent just like this. So these types of comments really stood out to me as a viewer. Anyways, that's just for today's episode of Queer Coding and Stranger Things, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!